Hello and welcome to the Team Afterburn Studios. I'm Phil and I'm here to show you what we're gonna do for your stretches for next month. Now I wanna stress how important it is to actually stretch. When you work out in here, you're tightening the muscles and you're creating a lot of scar tissue. If you wanna lengthen those muscles and get that range of motion to reduce pain and potential injury, you need to stretch. Now we do the same warm up for an entire month and the reason that we do that is so you can make progressions in each one of these stretches. If we change it every single time, it's hard for you to make as much pro progress. So make sure that you're putting the effort into these stretches because it does pay off. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Your first exercise, your first stretch is the single leg bridge hold with hamstring. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna lay down, you're gonna plant one leg, either leg, whatever one you're starting with, you're gonna lift your hips up. The other leg you're gonna take straight out and you're going to take a band. If you don't have the flexibility, the band is a great way to gain that flexibility. So you're gonna reach up, grab it with one arm. The other arm is gonna push right here on the quad to straighten that leg out, and then the further get you deeper into that stretch. Now, if you have the flexibility, if you can reach up and grab those toes without bending the leg and pull it back, great. Your goal here is to get that knee as close to the chest as you can. Now, everybody's built a little bit different, so you won't always be able to do that, but you wanna see progress. So then our next stretch, go ahead and sit up, is the kneeling hip flexor with rotation. So you're going to be in the kneeling position, foot forward. You want to drop the hips as far forward as you possibly can go. So you're trying to feel it in this back leg, the top of the back leg. We're adding the rotation so we get that spinal rotation. Your goal is to get that shoulder in line with this leg and try to get that chin over the back shoulder because that creates a lot more rotation in that spine. And you want a mobile spine is a healthy spine, right? So we're trying to get as much mobility in that spine. We're stretching out the hips and we're also gonna be getting a decent glute stretch as well. All right, our next one, you're gonna stand up. Wide stance. Then you're gonna plant, so a little bit wider than that. You're gonna take your palms and try to put them on the ground. You're gonna start there. Once you can do that, then you're gonna take your hands, clasp them behind you, and try to pull your hands as far as you can get over your body. Now, 90 degrees is good. If you can go a little bit further, even better. If you're hypermobile, you got, uh, you're double jointed, you probably go a little bit further than that. But the key here is to really stretch the hamstrings, so keep the legs locked. And we're stretching the hamstrings and the glutes, as well as the chest. We're also getting a good stretch in the chest. The goal here is to get that nose in between or get the head in between your legs. So that's your goal for the month for that one. Then you're gonna come up to the standing position. So the standing quad stretch, you're gonna stand, you're gonna engage that core, and then you're gonna pull one foot behind you and then grab it. It's gonna be easier with, by using one hand. However, if you wanna get deeper into the stretch, you can use both hands, push the hips forward and pull the knee back. That's gonna get you a better stretch in your hip flexor and a deeper stretch into your quad. Then from there, we're gonna do the overhead squat. So you're gonna lock your arms, a nice wide stance, lock the arms, pull them up, pull them back, which is correcting our posture. So the reason that we do all the overhead with the arms locked and pulled back is we're helping tighten up the lower neck muscles, upper back muscles, which is gonna help correct your posture. Then you're gonna drop your hips. Now, each time you do this, you wanna to try to go a little bit deeper. So you're gonna go nice and slow, and each time try to get a little bit deeper into that squat. That's gonna open up those hips. You, over, you wanna over exaggerate this one because once you start putting load on, you're gonna compromise this a little bit. You don't necessarily wanna be in that over exaggerated position anyways, but if you do that, that's gonna help you when you actually put the load on the body. Then you're gonna to go to single leg hops. Now, what people don't understand is that we're actually working on coordination. We try to explain that in the workouts, but we're not just hopping side to side. You wanna pick two points on the floor and you're gonna hop laterally from side to side. Now, this is a progression from last month. Last month we were on two feet, we did the square hops. This month we're working on one foot. That takes a little bit more um, coordination. So with that, that's gonna help improve coordination. And you wanna, without skipping a beat, when you go from the, the right side, you wanna go right into the left side without stopping. That's gonna help, again, help coordination. Same two points. So you're firing up all the stability muscles. That happens naturally anytime you're doing that hopping motion, but we're also working on coordination. And the last one is gonna be the butt kick with arms. So butt kick is that means that heel is gonna go into the glutes. And this is option number one. This is the low impact option. Then if you wanna increase that, you're gonna increase that. Go with that hop there. The 
What you're doing here is you're doing an active stretch in the quad, which is very important because we beat the quads up quite a bit in here. You're warming up the leg muscles, you're getting that blood flowing, and you're warming up the shoulder joint. This is what you're doing here with the shoulder joint. That's gonna help warm up that shoulder joint, which is very important because anything that you do that involves upper body involves the shoulder joint. So there are the stretches for next month. Try to put some effort into it. See that progress. If you're not seeing progress, let us know and we'll help you out with it. But you really have to put some effort into it to see the progress. And I promise you, it will pay off. And don't forget, if you know somebody who's struggling with weight loss, we have a six week no commitment offer for $75. Share it with your friends and we'll see you at the studios. Team Afterburn, home of the 1000 calorie burn where we transform bodies and change lives.